How much do you think you spend in a week at the moment? I couldn't put a figure on it. Maybe, I don't know, 100, maybe 200 a week. Well, um, I've got some disappointing news for you, Nicola. <laughs> it's not 100 quid. And it's not 200 quid. It can't be more than that. I'm afraid it's not even 300 quid. It can't be more than that. There's I'm no way. I'm afraid it is £435. <laughs> and that's on non-essentials? Yeah, I'm afraid it is. £435 actually looks like that. Not just a week, every week. Right. So that's quite a lot of money to get through um, while you think you're spending 100 to 200 pounds. Mm. Part of the reason for doing this is for you to identify what you really need and what you can't live without. Mm -hmm. So we'll set you a budget for that. We want to discuss with you how much you think that could be. I would like to think that I could live on 100 pound a week, definitely. Well, that was the first number you oh, said yeah. that you were living on anyway. Try again. 50. Try a bit harder. Less than 50? Yeah, indeed. A week? There is a number less just than 50. For, just for one week, just for seven days. 40? That's not bad. I can't Getting on quite that. well. <laughs> what we want to do is give you enough money that it's not ridiculous, so that you're just not going to feel on day one, what's the point of this? It's never going to happen anyway. I can't do this. It's to give you a challenge to rise to, but that is realistic. Mm -hmm. Your prize, £40, in cash. You look a little bit miserable. Are you all right with this? Yeah, it's fine. The only thing that worries me is the cigarettes, because if that is included in this, then that will literally be the £40 for seven days. But £40 is, uh, is definitely not a lot to, uh, to live on. It's not even a night out. If I don't want to spend any money, I have to do other things that don't involve going into town, because that is my main weakness. Any town, doesn't matter where it is. Can Nicola resist the shopping malls of Basingstoke? She'll need all the willpower she can muster to stick to her £40 budget. It's time to go cold turkey. It's day one of Nicola's cold turkey week. And rather than exercising her store cards with Mum, it's out to exercise the dogs with boyfriend Nick. Come on, then. Come on, then. Come on then. I don't think she'll do it. I think it'll be gone by Tuesday. And she's run out of cigarettes. So, and she always buys five packets at once. So that'll be it all gone straight away, really. <laughs> well, there you go, I can't spend any more then, can I? Hopefully she'll prove me wrong and she'll do it. It is hard, but it's not a lot of money. Um, and I've bought a magazine and some headache tablets and that's taken a fiver up already. And that's just like one day, so... Um, is there any new magazines out during the week? Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> so I need a cigarette now. <laughs> Nicola was all set to have her hair cut and dyed this weekend at the cost of £85. But lumbered with cold turkey means she's gone from dye to DIY. My hair dye was £5 and obviously I'm doing it so it's free and I'm not getting it cut so no takeaways, no nothing. Nick said, right, you're on a budget, I'll cook and uh, you know, you can, have a, you can have a cheap night in. Thanks. The next day, unable to resist the lure of the shops, Nicola's meeting up with her mum. With £30 to last the next five days, it looks less like a test of willpower and more like Mission Impossible. Oh, hello. Ooh, cold. Hi there. Are you cold? Freezing. I also wanted to get a sandwich pay as well this month, but obviously I can't do that because that's £30. Bit of the old fake tanning. <laughs> I think she'll, yeah, she'll cope, but I think there will be a certain amount of oh. anger underneath. And when she gets home and she hasn't got any shopping, it'll be... You haven't got any new things. Yeah, I think her temperament could be a bit high. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know... Going home from town with no bags is like kind of a, a lost trip, really. It's like that's the whole reason that you come in. I'm hoping that I won't buy anything today. And to be honest, I'll, I'll probably try and exert some kind of discipline. Milk. Mm. Oh, I love these. Oh, that's not bad. Ten pound. Oh, velvet throws. Look at those. Oh, that's thirty-five pound. Oh, look at these. Six ninety-five. It's doable. 
and I really, really like it. In actual fact, I am going to buy that. Thank you very much. They're gorgeous. Everything's gorgeous in here. That's lovely. Thank you. With only £13 left and three days to go, Nicholas decided to work from home. With an office right next to the shopping centre and a budget next to nothing, she can't risk the temptation. Today was a bit crap, really. It feels worthless. You just yeah. think, oh, I'm staying in, OK, I might have saved £50 this week. So that's £50 off of however many thousand pounds worth of debt you've got. And you just think, is it worth it? Because I'm still going to be sat here when I'm 50, paying off debts that I ran up when I was 25. It's the final day of cold turkey, and Nicola has cracked. She's just blown her £40 budget. Unable to kick her habit of buying in bulk, Nicola's bought five packets of fags. They were non-essential items in some people's eyes, but not mine. 